if you are new to this channel and enjoy what you see then don't forget to punch that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon to receive new and daily content on your mobile devices desktops and services that I provide along with following me on these social media platforms to stay connected with me at all times thank you so much for your continued support now let's begin ladies and gentlemen I am just as excited as many of you guys because right now we have ourselves the first ever 2018 Dragon Ball Super movie teaser here today as right now we're gonna go in ahead and break down the overall teaser to see what exactly we're going to be in for for the upcoming film as of course previously noted this is going to be the 20th installment movie number 20 within the Dragon Ball franchise so without wasting any more time let us go in ahead and begin and again don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys and turn on all notifications if you guys are hyped ready and stoked for the upcoming film as we are going to be getting more information within the next couple of weeks so make sure you guys are subscribed with notifications enabled to be the first to be updated whenever brand new information is posted as we go on ahead and begin the trailer and of course we see our boy Goku now the first thing I want to point out here is the environment that Goku is in now this reminds me personally of the Super Android 13 movie with the glacier background now we don't know for certain if this is going to be any official background that Goku is going to be fighting in however we get to see how he looks like more or less an icy tundra in the background as Goku makes his presence now the most interesting part about this entire trailer is we see Goku bouncing around and as we progress on forward it looks like Goku's wearing his traditional gi and his gi looks and resembles more of the orange color than how it normally did red in Dragon Ball Super now it goes on to state an original story slash screenplay character designed by Akira Toriyama so of course Toriyama is behind this movie and we see Goku once again he's bouncing around the background a lot of people are wondering if of course this is going to take place after Dragon Ball Super's Tournament of Power arc and in fact it is however the most interesting part about all of this is not really Goku bouncing around is the fact that he takes note of somebody and who exactly is he taking note of well it goes on to state a new adventure and then right after that Goku begins to look up now if you guys pay close attention there is a being on top of that mountain and he seems to be radiating green energy now as we get on closer and we find out who this person is if you look very closely it looks like indeed it is a Saiyan however look at his fur look at the clothing around him it looks like it does resemble Super Saiyan 4 like fur and I'm not saying that it is but we get to see how all of a sudden look at this man's forearm it goes from very skinny to very jacked in moments and we get to see how this person begins to assumingly either transform or something happens to where Goku takes notice and this person begins to basically change their body and powering up so we don't really know as to who this person is as it goes on to state to be the strongest begins so it looks like the story of Goku becoming the strongest isn't necessarily over however as we go further into this teaser we see how Goku looks up he seems to take notice and he seems to be ready and I love the expression on Goku's face because it looks like he has like that sinister look on his face but yet at the same time he seems to be welcoming the challenge as the challenge also seems to be welcoming him as Goku gets down in traditional position shattering the ice all around him which I think looks absolutely absolutely amazing and over out in the distance Goku goes on to say well time to get started and the minute Goku does this we get to see how it says a Saiyan Goku charges up at the cliff and as you guys can see here now we don't really know as to who this person is we can only assume that it is Yamoshi there is no confirmation as to who or what this person is but he seems to stick his hand out and assumingly ultimately shoot down at Goku as it goes on to state has no limits a Saiyan has no limits and this is the closest that we're going to get in finding out who this opposition that Goku is going to be facing is going to be as we get to see all we know from this person is that he has yellow eyes that's about it now I'm going to make you know a little joke in saying it's Broly even though it's not Broly it's kind of funny to me how he has green aura green lightning and whoever this character ends up being is going to be a formidable foe against Goku because this is going to be a Goku following the tournament of power story so any assumptions or any theories as to who this may be let me know in the comments section below because I'm very excited to see the events that are going to follow involving Goku and this person as at the very end we see Goku charge this person as he charges up the cliff as finally it concludes by saying Dragon Ball Super so it is in fact a Dragon Ball Super movie and it goes on to state at the very end now of course we see them exchange fists 
Now, they go blow for blow at the very end as it goes on to state coming soon, Earth has Goku. So what does that mean, Earth has Goku? If Earth has Goku, then who in the world is this person and where exactly is he from, especially if Earth is supposed to have the mightiest warrior Goku, then assumingly so, who the hell is this guy and where exactly is he from if he's not from Earth? So my only assumption is that perhaps this is one of the ancient Saiyans that probably lived on for millennia on in and could possibly very well be Yamoshi. There is no confirmation of that, but Akira Toriyama alluded in the idea that there once was a Saiyan who in fact was the first ever Super Saiyan God, but we don't know what happened to him. We don't know, you know, what happened to his presence. All of a sudden, he just ended up vanishing. So in the end, I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below. What are your overall thoughts on the presence that this character has over Goku? What are your thoughts on the overall teaser trailer as a whole? Thank you all so very much for watching. If you guys are stoked, ready, and excited for this upcoming film, Go on ahead and slap a like down below. Tune back in for more if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button, guys. I am so excited because, aesthetically speaking, this movie looks so different in terms of art, in terms of animation, and I'm personally ready to see what this movie has to offer in terms of presentation, in terms of storytelling. So, who knows, maybe after this, this is going to open up the doors to so many other things that may follow after this movie. Let me know what you all think down below. Thank you all so very much for watching. Tune back in for more, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section, guys. Cue my outro, bitch.